just a young punk rock kid that knows what's going on. An everlasting life is a free gift to all those who repent and trust in him. There is an afterlife. Um, I've heard before, like, um, God usually, people are granted second chances even after in the afterlife, so even then, when it, where is the justice really? Right? Yeah. If God is still going to give him another chance. Watch another great conversation between Ray Comfort and Lorenzo and Adrian, two guys at a university. One of them was raised a Jehovah's Witness, but has completely walked away from any kind of organized religion. And the other, who is not sure where he's going when he dies, he believes in God, but he definitely doesn't understand the nature of true saving faith. Watch this. Okay, I've got a scenario for you. You find your apartment is next door to a bank. You find a secret uh, trap door leading into their vault where there's billions of dollars. So much money they haven't got a clue how much is there. You can take two million dollars and you will not get caught for sure. Would you take the money? Yes. What about you? I'd think about it first. Okay, think about it. Two million dollars. What are you thinking about? Think of the good you could do. Well, even though there is good, is uh, I, is a, a sure thing that I'm not going to get caught? Yeah. You cannot get caught. This is a scenario, okay? You will not get caught. Yes. So you'd, you'd take it. Okay, here's another one. A very rich lady wants to get rid of her husband. He's a rat. He beats her up. He's just a nasty dude. She wants to get rid of him. She's going to pay you $10 million. All you have to do when she takes him out of a room is step through a door where you've been hiding, drop an arsenic pill into his coffee, and you get $10 million. Would you do it? And you will not get caught, once again, for sure. Yes. What about you? Do it for free. Don't cut it out. <laughs> no, I would. You'd kill a guy if he's a rat? If, yeah, if he was evil enough and did the bad things. you just take him out. Boy, remind me never to upset you. <laughs> and he's your friend? Yes, yes. Well, be nice to him, okay? So, um, would you do it for $10 million? Yes. So you'd become a murderer for $10 million? If that guy was a rat, yes, yes. So would you do it for five? Yes, of course. One million? Yes. So you'd murder someone for a million dollars? Yes, because he's not a good guy, that's why. Well, why don't you tell the police? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go killing people because you don't like what they do. What she's just lying about him and he's not really a rat and she's the rat. So you're going to have to take her out too. Take her out too? You're going to be a pretty busy person. So, do you believe? Yes, someone's got to do it. Uh, do you think there's an afterlife? Uh, no. And what about you, Adrian? Yes. So, are you an atheist? No. So, you just you believe in God's existence? Yes. But there's no afterlife. No. No heaven, no hell. You're just here. Just here, and then. So, if you die tonight, it's all over. Hopefully. So, there's no, no justice when a guy commits terrible crime. You know that he should be punished, but God doesn't. Right. I believe uh, our chance to punish them is here and now. Punishment is here and now? Yep. Okay, so a man, why would you take that guy's wife? Uh, why would you take that woman's husband out if he's being punished for being nasty, if, if it, the whole thing is karma? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying it's karma. I'm just saying it's if it's here and now, the only time we have to get justice and anything like that. I believe it's now and in our hands to take it upon ourselves. As far, maybe not in that literal sense where it comes to murder, things like that, but maybe even though in some circumstances. But I, I personally don't believe I would leave it to something else to justify it or to later on deal with it. So people are punished by feeling guilty or something like that? Yeah, I would hope, I would believe so, hopefully. Well, you'll have to explain that to American court system. They can let all the criminals out because you've got a new way of punishing crime. They <laughs> well, feel I guilty. Am, I am. Uh, I am majoring in uh, or minoring in criminal justice, so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's uh, if interesting. If you heard of Hitler? Lorenzo? Yes, I have. So he just shot himself and it's all over. There's no punishment for killing six million Jews. Unfortunately, I guess that's how it... Did you say unfortunately? Unfortunately, yeah, I guess. So you think he should be punished? Well, I mean, maybe he was... Yeah, I definitely think he should. He's an evil person. If, now, if there is an afterlife, um, I've heard before, like, um, God usually... People are granted second chances even after in the afterlife. So even then, when it, where is the justice really? Right? Yeah. If God is still going to give him another chance, what's the hell's the point? So, Adrian, you believe there's an afterlife? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you going to heaven? Am I? Go I don't know yet. You don't know? No. So, what about you, Lorenzo? If there is a heaven, are you a good person? Are you going to make yes. it there? Well, uh, I don't know if I'd make it there, but I know I'm a good person. That's good enough for me. Right? You know you're a good person. What about you? I know I'm a good person. Okay, good person. let's give you two a test. How many lies do you think you've told in your whole life? 
Probably about maybe. Damn. Maybe about a million. <laughs> and what about you? Who knows? No, well, God knows. Uh, <laughs> so uh, take a stab. Uh, over a million. Okay. So what do you call someone who tells lots of lies? A liar. A liar. So what are you two? I'm a liar. I'm a liar. Have you ever stolen something? Yes. Okay. What about you, even if it's small? Yes. What do you call someone who steals things? A thief. Thief. So what are you two? A thief. No, the lying thieves. Lying, lying thieves. thieves. <laughs> Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes. Okay, and what about you? As well. That's called blasphemy. It's taking God's holy name and using it as a cuss word. Now Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes, of course. So guys, I'm not judging you, but by your own admission, you both said that you're lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterers at heart, and you have to face God on Judgment Day. If He judges you by the Ten Commandments, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. Hell. Does it concern you that if you died today and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell? But even though He gave us justice, there is uh, the acceptance of God. Uh, as it says in John, um, as long as you accept God's gift, Jesus' gift, you'll be permitted into heaven. Kind of right. It's a little bit, you know, you're on the right track. But you said you're not, you don't know if you're going to heaven, so you obviously haven't. You're not born again. Yes. Okay. And what about you, Lorenzo? Does it concern you that if you died today, you'd end up in hell? No. Why not? Don't you love life? I do, and that's why. Why am I going to waste my life worrying about things? Don't have to worry about it. Just get right with God, and you'll find everlasting life. Okay. Let me see if I can explain what Jesus did on the cross biblically. God became a human being, Jesus of Nazareth, and he gave his perfect life on the cross, taking the punishment for the sin of the world. Did you know that? Yes. Okay. What actually happened is that you and I broke God's law and Jesus paid our fine. That means God can legally dismiss our case. You can have all your sins forgiven. God can let you walk from his courtroom because Jesus paid your fine and rose again on the third day. And what you have to do to find everlasting life is repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus. And God will give you everlasting life the second you do that. But you have to let go of your beloved sins. You have to turn from them. So if you died today, guys, and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell whether you believe in it or not. You've got to repent and trust Christ to find everlasting life. When are you going to do that? Do you think you'll ever do it, Lorenzo? Personally, no. And what about you? I feel I don't have to. You don't have to? Yes. So you don't mind dying in your sins and God giving you justice? But then again, it goes with the whole John thing again. It's, uh, we do what we do. Uh, there's a reason why we do it. And even though I don't go to church, I don't pray, I feel that I am repenting as I go on throughout the day. But that won't help you. It's what? like saying to a judge in a court of law, judge, I've stopped committing crimes. The judge will still say, we're well, going to have to be punished for the crimes you've already committed. You've broken the law and you're in big trouble. And if you die today, it doesn't matter how much you repent and you die in your sins and God gives you justice, you'll end up in hell. Guys, I'd hate that to happen to you. I don't even know you, but I care about you and where you spend eternity. And that's the only reason I'm talking to you because your salvation is so important. There's nothing more important than where you'll spend eternity. Do you have a Bible at home? Yes. Do you have a Bible at home? Uh, yes. Why don't you crank it open and, and, and just study it? Study the Gospel of John like you're saying, because the Bible does say in the Gospel of John chapter 3, unless you're born again, you're not into God's kingdom. It doesn't matter how much you repent, you have to be born again. And when you're born again, then you'll begin doing the things that you know please God. So you're going to think about this? Yes. Okay, what about you, Lorenzo? I've thought about it already. You have, and you've dismissed it? Yeah, I've done about a while, a couple of years ago. So. so have you ever given your life to Christ when you were younger? Yes, I was... Uh, actually raised uh, Jehovah Witness. So. Okay, well that's something completely different. It's a, what's called a works righteousness religion where Jehovah's Witnesses say you have to do something to be saved. The Bible says there's nothing you can do. It comes as a free gift by the mercy of God. So um, please think about this and, and, and don't read a New World Translation. Just get another version okay. and think about it. Yeah, because this is so important, guys. Hey, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Learn how to share your faith biblically. Each week, we send out a free ministry update and it contains a short video clip. Ray finds colorful characters, he witnesses to them, and then I chalk talk the clip. Here's some samples. 
Do you believe in God? Of course. I believe God actually learns through us. That, there's a heaven right here. Multiple times a day, God hugs me. What planet are you living on? I have no problem standing before the Lord as I am. After seeing new clips each week and understanding the biblical principles behind them, you will end up saying, I could do that. There's no charge for the update. Just go here and sign up here and we'll send it to you every week. For God so loved the world that He gave His only forgotten Son. Also, while you're there, check out the School of Biblical Evangelism. The School of Biblical Evangelism is a full-blown online evangelism course. It'll help you overcome your fears. It'll help give you the answers to the hundred most commonly asked questions and objections to the Christian faith. You'll find details on livingwaters.com.